The View Transitions API allows us to easily create animated transitions in single page applications. Let's look at this example. As you can see, when I click the navigation at the top to go between different pages, there's a fade here in the titles. Looking at the HTML code, you can see there's nothing special here. There's a navigation element with two anchor links that run a JavaScript function called change page to. This takes an argument of the page to change to. There are also two section tags showing the page titles and page two is hidden by default using the CSS class. In the JS file, there's code here to check if the page transition API is supported by the browser. And if it's not, just do a simple transition. If it is, use the document start view transition method. The start view transition function takes a screenshot of the current page. Then the callback is triggered, which changes the DOM. All this code does is add the display none CSS class to a page that needs to be hidden. And that's it. You can see how easy it is to implement a simple transition. But the view transitions API does give us access to some pseudo elements which allow us to create more complex animations. Here, I've given page one a background of green and I've given page two a background of blue. The view transition name property allows us to select an element we want to add an animation to. Here, we're choosing the section element and calling it page hyphen titles. The view transitions old pseudo element gives us access to the screenshot taken before the transition and the view transition new pseudo element gives us access to the view after the transition happens. And with those CSS changes in place, you can see our site now has a simple animation.